Rick. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, we about to turn up. We got the people from Black Ink in the building. Woo! It's a show on, uh, what's the actual name on VH1? Come on, man, you don't know it. The actual name of the show. Come on, you don't Black know Black Ink it. Crew. Black Ink Crew, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, nah, I got to answer that. that because he got to, let Black that resonate. Crew. Yes, Black, Black Ink Crew. Black Ink Crew. Yes. Don't listen to Caesar. Marinate. Got it. He just admitted that he never watched reality TV. I know. And now he has his own show. He's turn around and get mad when people go, I don't watch reality TV. You were saying the same thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. Technically, you're supposed to watch it with your girl, and my girl don't watch reality TV. I didn't even have a TV. I, I, like, I like that statement. You know what I mean? You're supposed to watch so it with your girl. That means he be watching it. That means he watches it. You watch it with your girl, don't you? Um, I only check to see Love and Hip Hop to see if Ebro's going to be on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. But wait a minute. Were you guys boyfriend and girlfriend before the reality show? Turn up. Nah, we was just friends. So you guys were friends now that the reality show's on, the relationship developed during the show? Exactly. Dun, dun. Oh, so y'all I've, I've okay. watched the show a few times, and it seemed like you were throwing him shade at first. Word, word, word. Think what do you think? Yeah, yeah. Yo, no, what's up with negative. that? You better take me home and whatnot. You know uh -huh, what I mean? Uh -huh. You seem not to be feeling him at first. What? See the thing. The things that got me to. <laughs> She's stuttering. You got it. Good, that's a good Shut one. up. <laughs> the things that got me with this dude uh -huh. was the things that you didn't see on camera, like, like the, the Talking drawing, to the mic. like. He like my best friend. That's how it came to be this. Like, I don't really know everybody in New York like that. And everybody at the shop was new to me coming in. Where are you from? I'm from North Carolina. She's North the new Carolina. girl. 704. Okay. And the only uh, female tattoo artist in the shop. Yes. And you're where are you from? You from New York? Of course, bitch. Okay. So but I see what's going on here. Don't you think it's kind of weird dating? Because he's technically your boss too, right? Mm -hmm. He is my boss. So that's not a conflict mm. of interest for you? No. I mean, this is the thing. I'm a businesswoman first. I have a master's in business, an undergraduate degree in marketing, graduated cum laude from North Carolina A&T. Mm. So, went to show university. Mm. Yes, mm. HBCU mm. love. Hey. You want to start talking to credentials. <laughs> I knew that was going. I knew that was <laughs> But because I'm, that's first. You know what I'm saying? Business is first priority to me. But I mean, as a businesswoman, I mean, you also don't want to date your boss either. No, I mean, I never, as you see in the show, that was never my intention. Mm -hmm. But you can't help. The way that life happens and the way that the cars fall. So I just got caught up in the moment and mm. we just taking it one day at a time. Well, I don't think it's an issue though. K Fox, I know you're concerned about the prospect of an employee dating their boss, but just for the record, it's a tattoo shop in Harlem. Not it's a not corp. Yes, not a Fortune yes. 500 company. Well, she was it's running cool. down the No disrespect. You, you she was absolutely running down the It's chill. It's, it's chill. not this like true. that. This is true. Like, and that's when why I love board meetings, that. No one mentioned the relationship. <laughs> what the I'm CEO is, is coming to tell you. Did you have to file okay. a disclaimer? This is, this is what I'm saying because if, the, I'm not saying that the relationship's going to go sour, but if it does and he starts, she starts dating a new dude or he starts dating a new chick, they're going to come around and there's going to be tension. It's just, you know, the after effect is a little weird. Uh, it can get a little weird. Who said there's an after effect? If the relationship goes sour. That's if you're thinking of the ifs. See, you you know, know, we don't think about that stuff when you start dating someone that you work with. Well, the, uh, the, I think our thing is we have something that's different than most relationships. And that's what people don't get to see. Like and what? that's what, what keeps us. What's, the, what's different like about this, it? We have a open communication. Mm -hmm. I've never lied to this man. He's never told me a lie. Like, this is prior to us being in this relationship. So those lines have never been crossed. And we maintain that, you know, that type of relationship with each other so that we don't have those issues. If I have any problem, I had no problem talking to him about it. Why like, don't why didn't you want to bring him home to meet talking, the parents? Talking, why didn't like, I? Yeah. When I first when I first <laughs> when I first when I first started dealing with C's, I didn't think that he was the type for me to take home because I come from a military family. My father Whoa. was a Marine, a recon Marine. Whoa. And he raised me to be like, well, if you're not really going to take nobody serious like that, I don't need to meet these dudes. So I never took a dude home to meet my father unless I know that it's something that I'm going to take serious. So Are when I first was dealing with him, it wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. So why would I take you home? Right. Have so, you guys, have you met her father? No. Yet? Stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. I love, have I mentioned how much? Have I? I don't want to take a time out to say how much I love interviewing reality stars because forty percent of the answers are stay tuned. Y'all don't understand. They tell us before that. Remember where you came from. Bro. They put you back. Right. You right. Right. Understand. Right. We gotta keep them checks rolling. We gotta keep them checks. I sense some serious uh, jealousy in the relationship because she's light skin and tattoos show up better on her body. Yeah. Don't front. Yeah, I'm I jealous. You, look at the color. I know. I know. Look at the black. 
fucking yeah, white thing she has on her chest. Right. Like, right. you, you can't get that kind of imagery right there. You can't right. do that. You're right. You're right. Like, you got something on it. your neck, you, but it looks like like oh, beer. smudged oil or something. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, what is that on your neck? <laughs> it's, it's a skull. It's a skull. It's a skull. You need a magnifying glass and a, and a blowtorch. <laughs> okay, now, Sassy, you're, you're pretty quiet back there. I've watched the show, and you're the calm, cool, collected one. On camera. Right. Behind the scenes, turn up time. <laughs> <laughs> so why not turn up for the camera? Why not show who you are? Because there's the no lazy and bitches here. Glow sticking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're coming from a rave right now? Last night. <laughs> and that's what lasers is? Lasers and bitches. Oh, lasers. Lasers. Like oh, lasers. lasers. No. Oh, lasers. Lasers. okay. Lasers. Okay, that's what like, I thought. Yeah, like, like the, you know, shiny lights. Lasers and Neons. bitches. Well, you seem pretty coherent. You seem like you weren't partying at all. Oh, I mean, I'm a professional. I was about to say, <laughs> this ain't her first rodeo. Okay. She she know how to do this. <laughs> you don't want to hang out with Sassy. You don't want to do that. Yeah, she'll drink you under the table either. Wait, so you do tattoos also? No. I oh. do the promotions for Black Ink. Okay, I got you. I got you. Well, that, you that job just got a lot easier recently. Oh, <laughs> <barely>. <laughs> It must be a little different than it was before. What were you guys? How well were you guys doing before the show started? We was doing pretty good. Like we're natural. We was maintaining artists, a business, maintaining and a, a business, and doing what we do. Right. This is what we love to do. We love tattooing. We love the art. So we always had a clientele base. Right. But now it's just increasing. Like, who's some people? Is anybody notable you tatted before the show? Man, I tattoo all. Like with me, I like the up and coming rappers. I yeah. love up and coming rappers because they hungry. They still humble. Yeah. You know I mean, when you tattoo some of the Turn industry right the cats, mind, yeah. they kind of on their cocky shit. They want you to like come out to wherever they is. Right. But I don't even mind. It's just let's have a let's have like some right. type of. Like some type of relationship, not even right, relationship, right. but know what you're let's saying. have a conversation. Yeah. You know what I mean? It don't always gotta be I'm stuck up or I'm stuck on cloud nine and right, whatnot. Right, we right. we still people at the end of the day. So, so what's some people? Yeah, so some people. So like Corey, um, Rocky, a couple other Ferg that I done tattooed a couple of times. Right. I mean, most of the Harlem t Harlem cats I done tattooed in Bronx. Hey, cats. Oh yeah, okay. Jim I done tattoo. I was supposed to tattoo Jewels, but our schedule got kind of crazy. Before the show. Before the now show. Now who do, who have you done since the show? Man, my, yo, listen. A couple people done booked up a c tattoos with me, like Meth, yeah. um, Waka Flocka, wow. and a couple other people I can't name right now. Not yet. Like, not yet. Yeah. You need to find room on Waka Flocka. Flocka's got a lot of tattoos already, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, that's why I was figuring, like, yo, homie, Cover what ups. you want? Yeah, it might. Yeah, Cover up some stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because he got a couple long. Um, Wayne has a line on that new game song when he says, um, I want to get, talking about wanting to tat the girl's name. He said, I ain't got room, but I'm going to make room. Well, what does that even mean? Because Wayne doesn't have room anymore. Listen, hold on. Once you got money, you can get room. I was about okay? to say. 50 don't have no more tattoos. Yeah. 50 Pharrell don't have no tattoos. more tattoos. Oh, so you can make room. Yeah, you can make room. Stuff and make you can mask room. that up. Yo, what, let me get some dope. So what? Is, so how is that? I heard that's like to remove tattoos. It's 20 like times saw. more painful. Like That's why 50. It's his laser whole burning the ink up. out of your skin. Mm -hmm. So it's Lasers and bitches, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole nother level. Yeah. <laughs> there's a there's a thought out there that I'm not gonna lie. I always believe myself, which was that tattooing seemed more beneficial for white people than black people because the colors seem to show up better. Is that true? Is that a misconception? And do you resent the way people see black tattooing versus white tattooing? I think it's definitely a misconception because I've seen them do art in their full-blown color on black people you know mm -hmm. like it's just how you go about it i feel like just the white people are just more intimidated you know um but once you tackle it and if you really know what you're doing like i've seen duchess duchess is tattooed the most brightest color roses on the blackest people you know so you gotta, know how how to you do gotta it. go about it yeah but doesn't yeah. our skin tend to keloid more is that a myth that's um, a myth no no it's actually not a myth our skin does keloid way quicker than a white person because you can sit there and do a lot more to a white person's skin and actually it won't get damaged as quick as our skin because our skin is already quote unquote damaged from the sun and from our pigments damaged yeah, the sun. Fox is not like that word. I yeah. know that's right, Kay. I'm with you. You look kind of silky over there. I'm trying. I'm what? Silky. 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 Oh, you ain't. Oh, oh. Uh, let's stop smiling now. Uh, you. Oh, you. Stop. I got you. <laughs> so back to the keyboard. I disagree. I say this. As a black tattoo artist, you just have to understand black skin. Would you go to a white barber or a white beautician if you have 
natural black hair mm-hmm. like you got to stick to what you know and a lot of times with white tattoo artists they tattoo white skin so that's all that they know with us because we tattoo so many different types of melanated skin tones we understand the levels that you can only take that needle to so that you don't damage to the skin to allow it to keloid you don't want your tattoo looking like a scar you want it to look like a work of art you want it to be smooth on the skin smooth to touch like Having a keloid, that means you're going too deep. Yeah. Like, you're doing too much. And then it looks crazy. That doesn't right. look nice. It but like Caesar said, with white skin, you can go in. You can do so much damage, so much trauma to that skin, and it doesn't affect it like that. But because our skin is melanated, we need lotion, don't we? White oh, folks yeah. can go without it. Like, our, oh, skin, no. mm-hmm. uh, our, white skin, devil. our skin is just totally oh, different right. is the point that I'm making. <laughs> yeah. So because of our difference in skin and all of that stuff, you have to pay attention to how you doing the actual tattoo, the method, because that's what's going to determine the outcome of, like, the healing process. White people don't listen to this. Black people are just trying to use all the lotion so they look better when they get older than we do. No. <laughs> <laughs> we tried it. We tried it. Too. We just don't. Hey, wait, hold on, hold on. And one other thing, Kate. Not you can't stick into a race. Some people think only black tattoo artists could tattoo black people. You have to look at someone's portfolio. Cause I know a couple of excellent white people that can tattoo black skin. It's all about positive and negative space. And you don't have no tattoo. problem tatting white people up, right? Just I don't got no. T- Listen, once you could tattoo a black person nice, you can, do you can tattoo anybody, anybody nice. Is the tattoo world anything. like? It feels like almost like almost like how biker gangs are like. You could meet a tattoo artist from another yeah. country and y'all yeah. like have like this. Yeah, start your own like, yeah. crew and whatnot. Yeah. And then you don't like this other crew. It's like that yeah. in the tattoo industry. I want to know who's the best tattoo artist in the shop. Ooh. I'm Damn. not answering that one. I answer it, okay, because he don't want to answer because he don't want to do, do, do. Yeah, because yeah, you are the boss. Paul, so. sl- like, let, let's go ahead. Caesar's mm-hmm. the, best the best tattoo artist. He is. Are you saying that just no, because I'm saying you that, mean it? No, I'm saying that because that's why I came to work at the shop. I didn't okay. I didn't come to work at the shop because of any other reason. Like, me and C's mom, we knew each other prior to this situation. Mm-hmm. She's the reason why I came to the shop because she's a tattoo shop owner and a tattoo enthusiast. So... I came there because I wanted to learn from him. I didn't even know who he was. When I met him, I didn't know that he was the same person that I had been trying to find to see if I could apprentice under. You know what I'm saying? You heard that. Right, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, (laughs) anyway, (laughs) but I came there because I wanted to learn. Now, shit, he's an ill tattoo artist too, but the difference with shit and C's, Shit has way more shit. years of experience. Is someone named oh. Shit? Oh shit. oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so it's like, oh, shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. But then when you cut it off and give them a nickname, their name's just Shit. shit. Why not? Oh. Yeah. yeah because. Like, because Family because ever calling oh. me just Shit that casually ever. Like, <laughs> so, Shit. He's a tattoo artist there. And the difference between him and C's, he's been tattooing longer than C's. He has the most years of experience as compared to all of us. But he's not as focused. And he has a lot of things outside of his personal personal life life that kind of deters him from maintaining the level of true art that he really could do. Like, he's, when that boy sit down and do some Mm -hmm. shit, you really will be like, oh, shit. Like, Mm -hmm. for real. But... He just doesn't have that focus. That but when drive. he's not focused, you look at him like, oh, right. shit. Like, oh, uh, <laughs> right, right, right. Shit. Right. Uh, yeah. shit. And then yeah. it becomes that shit. That's yeah. 